just to get a bit more context about Oxford in general, because you guys run a collegiate system, as far as I'm aware. Um, you, the University of York does the same. We have a collegiate system. It's not as intense as Oxford, though, I don't think. Um, but yeah, I think it would be a good opportunity to find out about some of these colleges, um, what people perhaps could expect, what you know about them, obviously. Um, and just, just give me like, you know, some of the stereotypes, some of the things that you know, and then the people that you've met, I'd assume, you know, probably fit some of those stereotypes or don't fit and, and how the reality is. You know how it works. Yeah, so it's really nice that we have a collegiate system. I don't think I now, like, I don't think I could go to a uni that doesn't have one just because it's a perfect mix of campus and city uni. The, the university yeah. is in the city, so you don't have to travel to go into the city, but you also have your mini home with like a gym yeah. and like a commute, a pre-made community essentially. Um, and I'm really so gutted that COVID like took like so much of that away from me, you know, because when mm. I when I go back now. Yeah. I'll be doing exams um, and basically my year without exams, my one year was, anyway. <laughs> uh, but um, make, make use of it, make anyway, use of it. Anyway, it's really lovely. Try at it's least. It's really lovely. Um, and so, but each college is kind of, they do say that, you know, at the end of the day, college doesn't matter because you, you, you're not guaranteed to get your first choice of college. But no. I think college does matter to an extent um, just because mm. different colleges are known for having different vibes. They have different um levels of like this the the sort of staff are like different levels of lenient or affectionate not affectionate but like just very some are really nice and welcoming and some are very stuck in their ways um but the ones that are stuck in their ways tend to have more cool traditions and like big fancy buildings that look like they're from harry potter and so yeah. there are pros and cons of all of them some are mm -hmm. known for taking more private school kids um some are known for taking less some are known for to, like for example like particular types of boys you know like things like that like oh you don't you wouldn't want to date a boy from x college or y do you know um so <laughs> right okay every college comes with I'm, their I'm, I'm excited to find out yeah yeah i'm so. excited to find out it's, it's like the disclaimer before a movie <laughs> it's like <Kind laughs> yeah be aware of. that this is <laughs> dot 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 um Right, so you know how it works. I'm just going to throw them out to you um, one at a time, and you just you just give me what you know on them. It okay. can be as 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 in deep or as you know surface level as you like. This is completely in your court. Um, so yeah, we're just going to play the game. The first one that I've got written down, I've forgotten how to pronounce it again already. <laughs> it's the Bal 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 um, it's because I'm from the north. It's, yeah. <laughs> Balliol is um, on the high street. No, it's not on the high street. That's a lie. It's it's in the centre of town. We're, up, we're uh, off to a good start already. Oh, it's, uh, no, it's not on the high street. It's it's on... Oh, my God, what street is it on? It doesn't matter, doesn't matter what street it's on. It's in the centre of town. Um, like, um, Boris Johnson went there, I believe. Um, that's a big name to throw out. Yeah, it was Boris Johnson. Yeah, it was. I was thinking, yeah, no, he, did, he definitely went to Balliol. Um, it's known as being one of the richer colleges, tends mm. to have a higher proportion of private school kids. It's definitely one right. of the more like Oxford, Oxford colleges. Are these that, people coming from like Harrow and Eton and places like it that? It has a high concentration of Eton people as far as I know. There are also people there that, you know, go to state schools. Everyone I know from Balliol is really super lovely but I, I do also not know that many people from Balliol I'm not trying to say that they're horrible there but it definitely has a stereotype like a reputation for like not exactly being known as like a super super welcoming college and they you know right but I don't know any more about Balliol so I'm not going to comment any further because I don't want to anger people watching <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm really worried that this whole game I'm just going to have people coming at me in my DMs with pitchforks like don't how worry. dare you <laughs> Um, no, it's all right. You're not doing your job right as a journalist if you don't anger people. That's true. So. I've got to get used to it. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> right. Number two, um, Jesus College. Jesus is a really, really small college. Um, it's There's a little street tucked away called, I want to say Tell Street. I think it's Tell Street. My streets, I've, I've been away for like six months. And I've forgotten everything. Um, but it's got loads of, it's got loads of little colleges on, Exeter, Jesus and... Lincoln and they're all really small but I've heard that they're very like welcoming communities Jesus is the Welsh college so it's got like it's got some sort of links with Wales I can't remember what the link what, is what is that about it's not just like a an overwhelmingly Welsh population Something is it to do it has it I don't I can't remember exactly why but it is the Welsh college um and it's very small I think you can only live on site in first year because it's so small whereas at my college you can live on site right. the whole your whole degree 
unless you do a four year oh. degree and you're not going abroad like but three years of your degree guaranteed um but yeah jesus is really nice everyone i've met from there is also really friendly um, but it is quite a small and insular college so everybody knows everybody the year groups are very small so things sort of like rumors spread quite quickly sounds cozy but yeah it, it has its perks it has its drawbacks yeah yeah <laughs> okay number three christchurch Christchurch uh, is okay, so it's freaking big sigh. <laughs> yeah, no, honestly, it's absolutely, it's absolutely huge. Um, it's not the richest college, but it's the most like prestigious college. Like when you think of Oxford, you think of Christchurch. A lot of Harry Potter was filmed there, I think, as well. It's like it's I the didn't it, know that. it's like the most That's Oxford cool. Oxford college that you right. could possibly imagine. Um, it does not have a good reputation at all. Um, a lot of in what way? A lot of the people there unknown this is annoying because there are people that i know that go to christchurch that are super lovely but everyone will will be super open in the fact that it's not very hot on access there's a lot of private school kids not that all private school kids are horrible but the atmosphere can be quite toxic there quite stuck in its Mm. ways um there's like all male drinking societies a lot of toxic masculinity um the staff have been known to be quite stuck in their ways as well. The porters, there's been lots of racism scandals at Christchurch as well, mm. especially. Not to say, this is not me saying that racism no. is confined to Christchurch, but um, both the staff and the students um, have been involved in, in, in scandals surrounding racism. So basically, just not anyone's favourite college, really. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think it's important. I think it's important to you know talk about them in general anyway. Um, so then people can make their own decision, and you know. But what would you you say though? Let's try and make it an equal sort of more balanced argument. The people that you've met personally are a bit more like normal, nice, yeah. less racist. Some of, <laughs> some of my some of my really really good friends from um, from Christchurch are absolutely lovely, but they have also been open with me saying that it was difficult it was difficult going there it was a, it wasn't the easiest yeah. time and um you know they definitely encountered a lot of prejudice and a lot of privileged people and mm. that but that can happen at all colleges i think that sometimes just christchurch by nature there tends to be more of them than in other places fair enough right N- number four all souls college all souls is a graduate college i believe so you can't go there okay. and it's it's like it's like the creme to the creme i swear they only admit like eight people a year or something and you have eight. to you have to you have to do like so many entrance tests like more entrance tests than you yeah. actually have to do than you know to get into oxford and but if you get in there <laughs> i think you're guaranteed like a fellowship or something like you're guaranteed uh. so- something you're guaranteed i think yeah. to like get a position as a tutor at oxford or something something along those lines but it's really really bougie really really big and has yeah an absolutely tiny graduate body because you have to be like the best of the best to get into all souls i actually know one of my tutors um who was an undergraduate at oxford and then was my tutor in first year for a while she she did yeah. she she got into all souls so if you're watching Ooh, you absolutely good legend. for her yeah she's yeah. she's incredibly clever so I, I was not surprised but it sounds strict it sounds strict as all hell though to get to get uh, in nice. yeah you have to jump through a lot more hoops than you do to, to mm. get into actual oxford and actual oxford is a pain to get into as well so mm. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Just in general, Just it's in really general, difficult. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you go to All Souls, that's like you have, like you are the best of the best. Like, yeah, you've made it. You've made it at that point. Oh, you, you know, couldn't you, really, you, you couldn't really get much higher, to be honest. No, no, you're on your way for one of those coveted fellowship, whatever they're it's called. Something like you become that. Become a fellow. Yeah, Oxford's got a lot of annoying language, and even I don't know a lot of it. So, <laughs> right, um, number seven, it's Lady Margaret Hall. That's my college um so it's a little bit further out um the general stereotype in oxford is that it's really really far away from the center and everyone's like oh my god you live miles away i can literally say from my door of my bedroom to my faculty door is like 12 minutes which is really just not that far if you cycle it's like four minutes it's really not right um and also i prefer it because it means that you feel like you're coming home at the end of the day a lot of my friends who live in the center just felt like they were living in a bubble of like their college their faculty and like tesco and it was all just so close together and oxford city center usually pre-covid is packed with tourists um so i love i love it i love being able to come back we have massive grounds and the community is actually known being very 
welcoming, very friendly. We have a lot of access events, outreach events, um, relatively high proportion of state school students. We have the foundation year, which was set up yeah. to allow people who, for one reason or another, have been disadvantaged in their studies and didn't get the grade that they should have really got to come to Oxford, which means that they can get into Oxford. Um, like V, for example, she's another YouTuber. She went in through the foundation year and she got grades that would not normally you know, be the right grades for Oxford, but she's incredibly talented and clever. Um, and she's now just graduated from Oxford and she's doing a master's at Harvard. So awesome. Basically, it sounds like the perfect college. It really is. I mean, apart from the fact that it's, it's slightly more, it's not like old Oxford brick, you know, it was built in sort mm. of the 80s. It's a, it was the first all women's college. So we've always just been very like trendsetters. Very progressive. Um, yeah. Very progressive. We're always like the first. For Oxford. We're always the first, yeah, for <laughs> Oxford, but we are always the first to do things basically. Um, apart from like, there's a couple, a couple of colleges that would dispute that, but we are. Um, and yeah, so it's super friendly, super open and the architecture is really stunning and we have a wildflower meadow and we have acres and acres and acres of gardens. We have like like a section of the river you can go like punting with boats and there's mate like like hedge mazes and deer and loads of wildlife and really nice i'm sold it sounds great it sounds like a sounds like a holiday um, it feels like a holiday apart yeah. from when you have like deadlines like coming at you yeah, left right and center <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, right. Number eight, Regents Park College. Regents Park College is not. Te or I think it is a college. It's like a. It's called a PPH. Um, I can't remember what that stands for. I think the second bit is private hall. So it might be like permanent private hall or something like that. And it's. Right. Um, you can only do a certain amount of subjects there. I think like f theology and philosophy and stuff because it's kind of like a religious college. They're very small on the high street, like really, really, really small. They wouldn't even count as a yeah. college, but um, yeah, they, they've got something to do with the church. Again, don't really know exactly what they have to do. Probably two years ago, I could have told you. I feel like I knew everything about like every single college, but yeah, basically <laughs> they're like relatively religious, and I don't know if you have to be religious to go there. I'm not really sure, but, but it would help. They're quite small, and I think um, maybe run. I think they have like religious people on site as well. Like, I don't think they're run by monks or anything, or maybe they are. I'm not sure. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> yeah, there's two of them. There's St. Bennett's which is my name and then um yeah it's regent's park yeah sounds good right number 10 new college new college is another really big college another really like harry potter style college they fit they didn't just film so the cloisters at new college is where they filmed the like ferret scene you know where draco malfoy gets turned into a ferret <gasps> yeah yes, that's so, awesome no way and the steps, the steps in new college are also the famous like steps that all of the harry potter students go up they also film mamma mia 2 oh. there that was where mamma oh, mia 2 was filmed um, i'm a massive harry potter fan just so you know i'm a huge harry potter fan i'm probably more i've of a been mamma to harry mia potter fan. world oh, got see, my own wand you should go to new college then usually it's full of tourists Really, really pretty college, um, yeah. but and um, quite traditional. But everyone I know there is really lovely. But again, does have is known for its sort of like toxic, you know, all male drinking societies and stuff. But like even even LMH, I think has an all male drinking society. I think, um, but yeah, quite a few private school kids there. But also, um, I wouldn't say it's got the reputation that Christchurch has. So, yeah, huh. I really like New College. I, mean, I think it's really nice yeah just from the harry potter like memories that would be that would be sick to go um last one is the uh i believe yeah worcester college yeah worcester's my second favorite apart from my college i i study so with our college doesn't have a german tutor per se we actually have we share with worcester so i have half my right. classes at worcester all my all, everything's to do with german is at worcester college um and so i've been there a lot it is a bit more in the center of town than lmh um, but it also has really, really big grounds, like really big, like a lot of space. Um, it's very yep. pretty. Emma Watson went there. Um, the community. That's a bit of a name drop. It is though. <laughs> and the, it's very, it's gorgeous. It's, it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, they were the first college on A-level results scandal day to be like, we're going to admit all of our UK offer holders. They were the first ones to do that. They've been very, very open um, and they are very, they're, they're, they're very open to change which as for a yeah. college that's generally quite traditional has been very promising to see and yeah they have very sporty very sporty and yeah they are they have a lake as well which is quite cool 
Um, I love Worcester. I, if I had, if somebody said to me tomorrow, you have to move, I would probably go there. Yeah. Go there, yeah. No, that's pretty cool. Well, thank you. That's all of them done. I mean, that's the the ones that we know and the ones that we picked out. So, thank you for taking me through them. Though that was that was interesting, enlightening. Yeah, I'm worried that I'm gonna. I, I've said something that's not. No, quite don't right. be worried. But those are those are just my. <laughs> I, and I, I'm just being honest because I know that everybody else would say the same as well. So. <laughs> Inside out, like we've all been led astray. We've been standing on the outside and trying to find our friends, like we're all just cast away. Feel like we've been missing out.